Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another gratin. This one is a potato with uh, tomatoes and peppers. It's very nice, it's very crunchy, very cheesy, very delicious, and I'll just show you guys how to make it. So it looks complicated, but it actually is not. So what you'll need for this gratin is, uh, here we have four medium potatoes washed and chopped into cubes. Here we have a medium onion chopped, finely diced or chopped, two tomatoes, uh, one green pepper, two tablespoons of parsley, three eggs, and then here we have three types of cheeses, so edam, uh, parmesan, and mozzarella. You can use any cheeses you want, you can swap them, you don't have to use all three, you can use any types you want. And half a cup of cooking cream, salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, a teaspoon of oregano, two cloves of garlic, um, and here we have one teaspoon of vegetable gravy, and this is what it looks like. And finally, two to three tablespoons of oil. So first step, we're going to take our potatoes in a large mixing bowl. And we're going to add in our spices, but we're not going to add the full salt and pepper. We're going to add in our gravy as well, our gravy mixture, and our oil. And we're not using the full now oil. we just mix uh, our spices to incorporate them with the potatoes and we're going to put them into our air fryer. You can also fry them in oil if you want to. So I'm just going to put my potatoes into the air fryer and we're going to let them fry until they cook. So there are noises in the background because our potato is cooking uh, on the air fryer and now we just move on to the next step while our potatoes cook. So on medium heat, we're going to put in our oil, the rest of our oil and our onion. But before, let's just wait for it to heat a little. So now that it has heated up, we're just going to add in our onion and we're going to saute that for a little while. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt because salt helps the onion wilt a little faster. Now we add in our uh, pepper and we're going to let that cook for a little while. So after they have cooked for a little and the peppers have wilted, now we add in our garlic and we mix it together and then we add in our tomatoes. So now we just add in the rest of our spices and we're going to mix that really well and let all of it cook together. After uh, our mixture has cooked and the water has evaporated, this is what it should look like. So now we're going to add a little bit of our parsley, not the entire thing. And a little bit of the oregano. You can also add the full oregano. So we mix it and we uh, then just turn off the heat because we don't want our parsley to change color. So our potatoes are out of the air fryer and our pepper uh, tomato mixture is also ready so we've just let them cool down and now we preheat our oven to 200 degrees celsius and then we move on for the rest of our ingredients so we add in a large mixing bowl our eggs our cooking cream and our uh, cheese we're adding the edam cheese here and we're going to mix that really well mixing our eggs and cooking cream and our cheese together we're going to add in the potatoes pepper tomato mixture and we're going to mix it with a spatula so we're slowly going to mix this all in until everything incorporates together after mixing it all in we're going to add some of our parsley and we're going to mix that all in and then some of our oregano and we're going to mix that as well. Take our baking tray which we've already greased with some oil and we're going to pour in our mixture. 
so uh, after I've tried to uh, even it out as much as possible, now I'm just going to add in our cheeses and then uh, we bake it. So I'm going to add in the Parmesan cheese. So after I've uh, added all of my cheeses in, I'm just going to add a sprinkle of oregano just to give it some aroma. And then we take it to our preheated oven. So we put it in the oven and we bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until the surface turns a golden brown. So we just took it out of the oven and as you can see the, the cheese is still bubbling, it's still hot So uh, and it also smells amazing. So we'll just let it cool down a little before we start to serve it. So this is the final product and this is what it looks like. As you can see it's golden brown because of the cheese. It looks very nice and I feel like it's a very, yeah, it's crispy from the top. So as you can see, it holds its shape pretty well. So let's just try it. Mm. The potatoes on it uh, on their own wouldn't taste like much. So I'm really glad that we added the tomato slash pepper mixture because it has given it this amazing flavor. And I would highly recommend it because um, it's vegetarian and it's I think that on its own would be a very filling meal on its own. So. I'd highly recommend that you guys try it. So this concludes today's video. Again, if you like this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and follow us on our Instagram and Facebook so you guys can support me to make more of this content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.